Welcome to day 11 of your 30 day grounding practice. Today we're talking about support. How do you support yourself? When do you feel supported? Our practice today is going to be designed as a form of support for yourself. So I want you to start on your back, please. Go ahead and bend your knees, lie on your back, knock your knees together and separate your feet. And then take one wide palm and place it over the top of the forehead. Tuck your chin slightly and lengthen the back of your neck. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And just let this be a soothing gesture so you feel your brain soften under the skull. And as you relax back into the back of the earth, you can feel your brain get a little heavier. And you feel that the mind even has a sense of support. Take a deep breath in. Exhale with sound. Now start to build a breath sequence here and expansiveness on the inhale and a thoroughness on your exhale so that the breath has a sense and a feeling of supporting you. Inhale with sound at the back of the throat. Exhale with sound. Let your right hand or whichever hand is on your head come down. And now I want you to rely on the support of the breath to move you today in our practice. Hug your knees into your chest. If it's okay to rock forward and back, we're gonna roll forward and back five times. If not, just roll to your side and come on up. Curl the chin, we're just gonna roll up on the inhale. Back on the exhale, inhale to come up, exhale back, inhale up, exhale back. Good, stay in a little tiny bundle, rolling back and up. Let's do one more, inhaling and exhaling to come all the way up. Cross your ankles, slide your feet underneath you and we're gonna come into child's pose. So prop the hips back towards the heels, reach your arms nice and long though. And on your next inhale, use your breath to come up to table, lean into the right hand, kick your right foot behind you and open your left arm up. You could float the left leg if you want. Take a moment just to take a picture in the body of this shape and then exhale, fold everything back in. Now stay on that same side and we're moving on the breath. Inhale, fill up, feel how the breath supports the expansion. And then exhale, fold everything back in, rinse it out. Inhale, same side, left arm goes up. Exhale, fold it in and draw it back. Inhale, use the support of the breath to unfold you. Exhale, coil in. One more on this side, inhale, really following the breath and exhale, pull it in. Good, second side, feel your left hand print. Come on up, we'll go slow this first one. Kick your left foot behind you, open your right arm up. Now remember, you can lift the right leg, hug in around the waist, and I want you just to map this in your body. Take an expansive inhale, don't hold your breath. Exhale, put your hand down, fold your knee in and drop your hips back. Now let's move on the breath. Inhale, support yourself. Exhale, fold it in and drop back. Inhale, feel the breath. Come in and support the movement. Exhale, wait for it to fold back in. Good, two more times. Inhale to open. When we learn how to let the breath lead and support us, 
There's a regulation that happens in our nervous system. Last time, inhale, open, and exhale, fold it in. Good, we're gonna build on a sequence. Inhale, open up, right hand down, left arm up, so same thing. As you exhale, you're gonna push off your right hand and stand on your left foot. You can stay here or you can start to drop your pelvis down and take a seat. I call this um, seated goddess pose. Take a breath. So remember, if this is too much, you're gonna bring yourself back up to this kneeling position. Draw in around your waist, reach the right arm out, and you're gonna stretch back into the side plank variation. Exhale, fold everything back in. All right, support yourself with the breath. Inhale, come on up, right hand down, left arm opens. Exhale, push off and sink down. Inhale, open back up, feel the expansion. And exhale, fold everything back in. Notice we're staying close to the floor today. Inhale, open, same side. Exhale, push off, stay high or sink down. Lean into the earth. Inhale, support yourself with the breath. Exhale, fold everything in. Good, last round. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, sink any amount. Inhale, open back up. And exhale, fold it in. Good, we're coming right into our second side. Inhale, left hand down, right arm open. Now push off, and this first one will go a little bit slower. You can stay here. You can drop the pelvis down. Notice I kicked my heel in, and you can bring the hands to the heart. Just feel it out for what's appropriate for you. Our inhale will reach back. Exhale, fold everything back in. And now let's move on the breath. Right arm up, inhale, right leg out. Exhale, push off, stand or sink. Good. And then feel the breath come in. Open you up. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open up. And of course, you've probably already figured out, pad your knees if you need to and sink. We're staying close to the earth today. Inhale, feel supported on the breath. Exhale, coil it in. Inhale, open up, lean into earth, expand. Exhale, push off, sink any amount. Good, inhale, breathe. Exhale, fold, release it out. Good, we have one more. Inhale, open it up. Feel how the breath supports the movement. That it's beyond your will, it's beyond your effort that there's this efficiency that we start to tap into. Child's pose, exhale. Stay in child's pose or sit back on your heels. Close your eyes and just notice what's shifted. And keep the breath as expansive as it was in your flow. that we're not forcing the breath. There's this internal support that we get to rely on, that we get to participate and co-create with. Feel that, soak it up, inhale, spread it out. Exhale, soften. Good, go ahead and come up to sitting. Slide your feet over to the side. And we're coming into Baddha Konasana. Bring the inside of your feet together. Take your hands behind you. Roll your shoulders back and lift your sternum. So you can stay right here if you like, opening the chest, leaning back a bit. Remember the square of the pelvis that we talked about, sitting bones, pubic bone, and tailbone. We don't want the pubic bone to jut up. We want the pubic bone to drop down so we have that maximum Foundation. Stay here or fold forward.
Close your eyes if that feels safe. And just feel the contrast between the movement and the flow and how the breath was supporting the movement. But now notice how the stillness, even though the breath is still flowing, but the stillness is supporting you as well. Take another moment. And then go ahead and blink your eyes open. If you fold it, come on up, sit comfortably, and bring your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for your practice. May this be a gesture of support for your mind, your heart, and your body for the rest of the day. Namaste.